Ahoy there, my fellow Homo sapiens, and welcome back to another Friday Top 6 video. So I'm trying to keep this up the best I can, and today we're going to be talking about the top 6 things that I'm most looking forward to in the Sea of Thieves. Now, this is a game that comes out next month, which I'm quite excited for actually. I'm going to probably be getting this on the PC, just because, you know, it's probably going to be better on the PC if I'm honest. I mean, the graphics are quite cartoony anyway, so I don't think it's really going to matter too much whether I get this on the PC or Xbox. So, we're going to go into the top six. Now, first off, we've got Authentic Pirating. Now, sailing with a crew, you will need to learn the basics of sailing before leaving for your adventures into the unknown, where obviously you will encounter new and exciting treasures. Now you will be taught how to repair and fix your ship too. These are all going to be valuable skills for when you actually go out and start on your voyages and stuff like that. So along with learning about the fixing and stuff like that, you will also need to learn how to be ready for battle. Now this is all before you've even set sail into the unknown. Now these are going to be fun things that you can do with your friends and you know get some new people in I guess, maybe meet some people on the way, I don't know if you can recruit there might be some sort of recruit feature on it as well which would be pretty cool now obviously you can expect to find untold riches and unknown dangers along with other pirate crews and lots and lots of ocean now you're going to be surrounded by this stuff but there will be land to go on as well and explore now working with a well oiled crew will be the difference between success and defeat. While under attack, you will need to divide your crew into different groups. For example, you'll need probably one or two of you on repairs, making sure that the boat doesn't sink. Then there'll be others that will probably be attacking as well, so that people repairing don't have to do absolutely everything. Now this will be very vital for you because you don't want to be caught short and you don't want to just focus on attack because your ship will just drown anyway and you'll have done all that for nothing so it's really important that you get your best people doing what they are better at now this is going to be quite fun I think so this is going to be definitely a learning curve for people who have got people already they play with now now would be a good time to figure your strengths and weaknesses so it will be pretty fun to try and sort that sort of stuff out. Now, along with rival crews, which I'll go into a bit more in a moment, there'll, there'll also be other types of enemies. So you'll have ghosts, skeletons, and possibly even a sighting of the Kraken. Now this intrigues me because the Kraken is obviously a, a big mythical beast that lives in the ocean and has tentacles that rise from the water. Oh, it's, it sends me chills just thinking about it. Along with fighting other crews, you will also have to take on skeletons, ghosts and other underwater creatures such as sharks and possibly the kraken. Now rival crews will not always be friendly so you have to be on your best defence when you sail next to one or see one in front of you or behind you. So even if you don't attack them first, it is really important to be ready for battle because you can never predict what the other ship or crew is going to be ready for. So brace for impact. Other crew will be manned by real people on their own journeys. So if you're both going for the same sort of like island, you're probably going after the same treasure chest. So you've got to be kind of wary of to who you trust in the game, which is kind of a cool feature because you can never predict who you can trust really. And you know, you've got to be on your best defense as well as not be too skeptical of people but they can be a bit untrustworthy sometimes so you've got to be a bit wary of that now a really cool feature in the game is that if you do have a troublemaker on your ship so if they start throwing your loot off this ship or just generally causing mischief like dropping anchor when you don't need it to and driving into islands such and such like that like the, you can take them to the brig now this keeps them in like a prison cell sort of thing and the only way they can get out is if everyone in your crew votes unanimously to let them out. And you can keep them in there for as long as you need to so they can reflect on what they've done. Now there is a call cool, like communication thing where they can still talk to you while they're still in the cage. So that they can sort of like 
plead their case sort of thing. So you can let them out and all that kind of jazz. So it is entirely up to you and your crew when and if you can let them out. Now, I don't know if there's some sort of punishment where if you just keep caging the same person, even if they're not doing anything, I don't know if there's a, a feature for that where you actually get punished for doing that instead. I don't know, it would be quite cool to see. Now moving on from there, we've got puzzles, riddles and maps. Now these are some of the cool features that again focus on problem solving. Now it's easier to do this with a crew or people that you know have strengths with solving riddles and puzzles. So again, this is down to you and knowing your crew. So if you've got someone that is really good at problem solving and riddles and stuff like that, they are going to excel so much at this and they're going to provide a great asset to the, the crew. So it is important to make sure that you have your people where you need them. Now some of these puzzles and riddles will unlock certain treasures and certain loot. So it is important that you get these done and get them right. But obviously be wary of other crews because they're probably doing the same island as you. Now they could be just waiting for you to solve the puzzle and then they kill you afterwards. So this is something you will have to be prepared for. So maybe have like two people on guard waiting and sort of sort it out like that sort of thing. So you're never caught short. Now another thing that you can probably expect is booty or loot. I just use booty because it's a pirate game and you know booty goes with the pirate theme. Now you won't always find treasure on land where you will have to use maps and fellow crew to help. Oh no, some treasures can be found lying at the bottom of the ocean where ships have sunken to their watery graves. So this is another example of using your team, dividing yourselves, not cutting yourself short just, be, just in case um, there's obviously another pirate crew near where you need to be because obviously if you leave your ship defenseless it's just going to get obliterated so this is important again to make sure that you've got your best people on board and just get your couple of people scouting out the shipwrecks below there also is underwater creatures to watch out for as well so sharks are a, what I've seen from some of the gameplay sharks are definitely one of the main concerns that you need to watch out for and also you can probably be expecting a lot of girly screaming because the sharks seem to just appear behind you as well I've watched a few of them already and they just appear behind you and I've, I've heard quite a few girly screams so you can expect something like that in your gameplay so be prepared to jump now moving on from there we have the gorgeous environments Sea of Thieves has the most beautiful and almost realistic environments ranging from deadly storms and high waves that make it near impossible to sail through. But then again, on the other hand, you have the crisp Caribbean beaches, where the sun glistens off the sea like a perfect holiday destination to take your loved ones on. I absolutely love environments in games, and I feel immersed into the game a little bit more when there is a great atmosphere or a great environment. Now, I don't think that, feel that environments get enough love. You've got to have something to look at while you're walking around, traveling and stuff like this. So it is really important to have great environments in games. And I do appreciate them a lot, a lot more than probably most would. And, you know, it's not a shame. It's just what you, you like, isn't it? It's just a personal preference. I mean, I'm a big explorer when I'm in games. So looking at environment is, is definitely key for me. But obviously... You know, it's not everyone's cup of tea with that kind of thing. So it doesn't really matter too much to others. But definitely it's one of the things I'm most looking forward to. Because they do look like they've done a great job with the water effects. And I definitely think that it's going to be a great game. Now we're going to blast off with our final entry at number 6. And it is launching yourself out of a cannon. And why not? You know. There might be some places that you need to reach that are far off and, you know, it's just quicker to fire yourself out of a cannon. There are other, you could just fire yourself to another ship, you know, do something like that, it'd be fun. Or just for shits and giggles, why not? Just give it a go. Because it, it, I reckon it'd be quite fun just to shoot your mate out of a cannon, why not? Now, Sea of Thieves does offer so much to do and a lot of fun and adventure with friends. Now, I will be getting this for the PC next month. 
and I want to start assembling a crew. Now if you are interested, there are social media sites that you can find me on and I'll leave them at the end of the video. So if you do want to join my crew and you have got a PC and Windows 10, because it won't run unless you have Windows 10, which is obviously unfortunate if you don't have it. To be honest, if I'm quite honest with you, I think it's going to be a really big online game. Probably up there with like PUBG and Fortnite like that. Because it is kind of, you have to craft stuff and you've got to got to work as a team and you've got to kill other people if they're starting to fire on you so it, it would be a great sort of team building game with a good few friends and have a great laugh with it I can imagine a lot of big youtubers and streamers will be playing this as well with a few people now of course this is the end of the video for this week I do appreciate every single time that you watch my videos and for the support that you show for this channel now if you have enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe so please take care of yourselves and others and take care fellow destiny seekers